And well, starting in Nigeria, uh, where for our top stories in the news this morning, where the United States of America, uh, the government there, has named Nigerian celebrated police officer, they call him the Super Cop, Abba Kiari, among uh, co conspirators of uh, Instagram celebrity Ramon Abbas, aka known as, you know, Posh Puppy, who has now admitted uh, guilt, pleaded guilty uh, to a multi million dollar money laundering fraud. Now, police commissioner, Deputy Police Commissioner Abakiari is named among five of Hush Puppy's uh, conspirators in the $1.1 million fraud charged recently and approved by the U.S. Grand Jury. Wow. Now, following the Grand Jury's finding, approving three charges against Abakiari and others, Justice Otis Wright of the U.S. District Court for the Central District of California granted the government's request for detention order and arrest warrant against Mr. Kiari and others. Meanwhile, Abba Kiari, who is a deputy commissioner of police, has come out to deny receiving any money from Hush Puppy, the embattled Nigerian socialite. Well, joining us this morning is political analyst Godi Ofose. Good morning, Godi, and welcome to the program. Good morning. Uh, good morning, morning Gordy. Good to have you. you this morning on Breakfast Central. Quite a startling revelations from the U.S. Grand Jury and also the FBI indicting so many Nigerian names, including our very own super cop, uh, Abba Kiari. Now, how is this, you know, Nigerian security force going to be seen in the eye of international community with this latest, you know, allegations from the FBI? All right. First, um, good morning, Gordy. Good morning, First, let's, uh, let's call it allegation yet. Um, we haven't been proven. And again, Abba has um, given his own side of the story, um, given without being asked to. Um, I, I still feel that there's um, um, so much that um, we have not heard yet. So, I, uh, Nigerian police have been the eyes of the storm for so many reasons. From the Inspector General of Police that is misbehaving, from the Inspector General of Police that was sent to Benin State that refused to obey the order of the President, to um, a police officer that was seconded to the EFCC, who has also been alleged to have embezzled the or we looted, uh, let me use the Nigerian language, to be looted the loot um, of the um, suspected looter. So, um, Nigerian Police has not been. Um, very good place to ask me. So uh, I feel the upper Gary my, um, issue is being as one. It was like um, a very um, white cock in, in a very, um, very murky water. Uh, he, he stood out. He, he, he was exemplary. Uh, that's why he, um, he, after the, when the news came out, it looks like, um, wow, can, can we really get someone so good in the Nigerian police force? So, I feel um, it's a dent on the, on, the, on the force, and that that's why the force could take the action that we took yesterday to try to review the allegations. The still call it allegations. I still believe that they are, so at the end of the day, to you know the truth. Um, there's so much that has not been said. All right. Um, All right. I, still believe, I still believe that there are a lot of people who are still not being mentioned in the case. All right, uh, Godi, we, uh, we are struggling to hear you a bit. Uh, perhaps you can, if you can switch your audio, uh, perhaps from uh, the earpiece of Bluetooth to uh, normal communications, we'll come back to you. So just stay on the line uh, while you work, uh, work on your audio. All right, still on the issue of, uh, well, the allegations from the FBI and the U.S. Grand Jury naming uh, Super Police Cop in Nigeria, Deputy Police Commissioner Abba Kiari as co-conspirators of Hush Puppy, has really riled up Nigerians this morning, especially since the... Uh, Instagram post he made on his personal handle, you know, uh, I mean, coming out to say he had last, nothing to do. The last 24 hours has been chaotic on mm. social media, especially in the Nigerian space, because when the story broke out, everybody, and the story did not just break out with words, it broke out with evidence. I mean, mm. the, um, the investig investigation that was ongoing came out and ruled out what Hush Puppy said on his side, how it all happened. Mm. I mean, do we call this, uh, I can't even call it a coup, but mm. it looked like there were, the evidence was quite overwhelming. Mm. But I think we still have the, um, the analyst on. Yes, we still have uh, Godi of Fosse, uh, yeah, published and current affairs analyst uh, with us this morning. Now, Godi, good to have have you back. I, I, I suppose the audio is sorted out. We have seen a statement from Abba Kiari on his personal 
Instagram handle. Quite a very colorful, colorful one, I have to add. And we also seen a statement from the IGP who have ordered an investigation into this whole uh, matter. So uh, what should we expect from the Nigerian police force uh, led by Usman Al-Kali Baba after the immediate press release, which Frank Umba, I think, was released uh, to the country yesterday? Where do we go from here, you know, from, especially from the police internally on Abakari's case? Uh, uh, <clears throat> the IGP um, in the statement, can you hear me now? Am Loud and clear. Yes, Loud and clear. Right. Right. Carry on. All right. All right. Um, uh, the, the, IDP, the IGP said in his um, statement that um, the Nigerian police would collaborate uh, with the FBI. That means that if Abba Gary is found guilty, he will be sent to the U.S. That is the import of that statement um, from what he's saying. But let us wait. I think the Nigerian police force has done what it's supposed to do by releasing that statement and setting up a review committee. Let us let the review committee come up. And I think what the only the 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 the, the, the review committee can actually rescue the Nigerian police force uh, um, by the speed that they will use in reviewing that judgment. And, and I think everything is in the open now. Abba Gary said it's just about um, three hundred thousand naira. And I and in, in his in his as a as, as a senior police officer. I don't think a, a, a bribe of 300,000 naira was enough for him if, if that is what he got, essentially, um, uh, for, the, for the making of the dress that he alleges. But uh, wow. Anja police, you can't expect so much. They have come up with a statement. The statement is very clear uh, that uh, we are reviewing the matter right. um, very soon. The, right. We all hope that the, the police force would um, come up with the matter um, um, very soon. I mean, in the next few weeks or maybe days, we should so be now, able now, to. Now, of course, uh, you know the, the the irony of it all is that Abakiari, his personality and his um, his work ethics has been one of questionable character, not by us, but by people who have interacted with him and by cases that he has handled in the past. Now, people have come out prior to now to talk about how he has rough handled, mishandled certain um, cases, uh, front cases that were in his, uh, on, on his front burner. But yet we had nobody who could come out um, to, to, to give this kind of evidence or this kind of case levied against him. Are we saying that when it comes from our own people in our own country, um, it tends a, a blind eye tends to be turned against him as opposed to when international communities get involved with stories like this? Yes, uh, you see, um, it's, it's news to me that uh, um, um, Abiy Akhari has been um, le level. Uh, this kind of allegation has been leveled against him in the past. I, I mean, it's one of the most outstanding cop. Um, he got um, um, an award from the National Assembly, for example, early leadership. Um, wherever there is any uh, unresolved cases um, in terms of investigation, Abiy Akhari is always brought in. To, to, to resolve those cases, especially the armed robbery, the kidnapping, and the rest of it. It's been, it's, it's been outstanding. It's been seen as one of the shining lights in the police force in recent time. And again, I mean, he's a human being. He's, he's not beyond mistakes. I'm not speaking for him, but I feel that as a journalist, as a media person, I have read so many good things about him. I've also had in contact with him. I speak to him on phone. And, and like you said in his uh, response that Mr. Vincent is alive and we would love to hear the Mr. Vincent's account on what really transpired if Abakari is saying the truth. You know, when a criminal is being interrogated, he doesn't want to go down alone. So he would like to hold on to a lot of things, even the, even the straw. A straw is, could be part of the thing he will hold on to, to sink. So uh, I feel that um, um, I wouldn't rush to condemn him. I wouldn't rush to exonerate him. But I would say that let us wait. Um, we know that FBI, um, about 20% um, of the, I, I read it yesterday, about 20% of the FBI allegations have been false in the, in the last five years. So I, 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 it's not all the, it's not, it's not just, um, the FBI will not just eat the bull eye. By, by making allegations. Let us hope that um, what is happening today will turn out not to be true, because if it, if it does come true, that means Nigerian police is, is in for it. Uh, Abba Kiari is one of the most shining light. He's yeah. been very exemplary in terms of carrying out his duty. And to, to back an award from a National Assembly 
Yeah, uh, for okay. example, and, 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 Godi, we, just before just, just before we let you go, you talked about Tabakari's exemplar, you know, uh, career, which is clear to see in how he fought, you know, insurgents, you know, you know kidnapping. You have, in fact, it has a big documentary about him as a super cop, as they call him. And that brings us to the question of, you know, uh, relationships with such, you know, personalities like Hush Poppy, you know, on the public glare and, you know, coming out to actually put out that statement. Was it necessary on his own part? Which people are pointing I holes. Think, I, I, I'm also as a, a public relation person, a perception manager. I think it was in his. He, 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 he wanted to clear his name so quickly, and in a process, he messed up everything. Um, when things like this comes through, you don't like. You don't have to do that. Maybe you call your lawyers, you speak to your lawyers, you speak to your perception managers, and they come up with a very good response for you. Um, oh. There were a lot of loopholes in this. Um, um, feedback um, for a journalistic perspective, per perspective rather. There are a lot of loopholes. Um, he was in the hall. He was. It, maybe he's also very mindful of his character, his presence, his image, and I think that was why he was in a haste to do that. And I think it wasn't the right thing to do. He should have waited, studied the entire thing, um, um, maybe perhaps um, look at um, the allegations, get everything right, consult his bosses and um, then All talk right. to his lawyer, mm -hmm. and he won't be the one to speak. He should have been spoken for mm -hmm. by someone else. Right. Thank you so much, political analyst Gordi Ofose, for coming on the program today. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Thank you too, Gordi. Uh, more top stories right here on Breakfast Central.